Okay, in this video we'll start talking about polyfit. So uh, polyfit is a useful tool in MATLAB. So usually as engineers or scientists, you would record experimental data as X or Y values. And then ideally you would want to create, um, understand the trend between these two variables which you measured. Um, and to do so, the easiest way to understand this trend is by generating an equation for it. And this is what this function polyfit will help you do. So in this case, I have two sets of data, temperature and velocity. And this is taken from your homework six, which is the temperature and velocity data for NACL. So let's say you measured these two pieces of information, whatever they are. And um, once you plot them, so if I go plot T versus V, and then I'm going to make them look like circles. You can see in the bottom right here the figure where you have the data plotted. And before moving on, let's um, add the cosmetics for this figure. Let's make it easier to read. So I'm going to add a title. Let's say temperature versus velocity of NACL. I'm going to add an X label. So in this case, the X label will be temperature. I'm going to add a Y label. In this case, the Y label is velocity. Okay, so now I have my figure, I have my data, and I want to generate an equation which accurately represents this data. So polyfit will help you to do so, and polyfit will basically generate this um, vector of coefficients for an equation. So um, polyfit will generate the vector of coefficients depending on the value of n which you enter in this function. And it's important to remember that n equals 1 corresponds to a straight line equation. So if you want to get a straight line equation, you set n to be 1. n equals 2 is a polynomial of uh, a quadratic polynomial. So n equals 2 is a quadratic polynomial of this form. So you're going to have basically a1 multiplied by x squared plus a2 multiplied by x plus a3, where a's are constants. For a straight line equation, you're just going to have a1 multiplied by x plus a2. And again, a's are constant. For n equals 3, this corresponds to a cubic polynomial, which is of the form a1 x cubed plus a2 x squared plus a 3x plus a4. And again, the a's are constants. So let's let's test out this function. So let's say I want to fit this data to a straight line equation. So let's try this polyfit. Then I'm going to put my x data. You can see the help shows up t, v, and 1. So this should give me a straight line or the array of coefficients for a straight line. Um, in order to use it, let's try to save this. In, in an array with a name, so in a variable name. So I'm going to use the name A, and I'm just going to rewrite the function polyfit T V 1. And the idea of this line is just to store these values um, so that I can plot them and use them in an easier way. So now I have, if you look at the right-hand side here, I have A, which has my vector of coefficients for a straight line equation between T and V. So now I have this um, this vector of coefficients. I want to test it. So I want to plot this equation which I have versus the experimental data to see how it looks, you know. So in order to do this, I need to basically evaluate this equation. So I have an equation with these parameters here and I want to evaluate it. Um, 
at the given temperatures or at the given x values. So to do so, I'm going to um, use the function polyval to evaluate these this linear equation at these x values. So and this will be my new y value. So let's call it v underscore fit. And this I'm going to use the function polyval in this case. My matrix of coefficients will be a, and my x data will be t, right? So on the right hand side here, you can see the fitted values for this function, for this fitted line. And now let me plot. So I'm going to write hold on for this figure, and then I'm going to plot the straight line equation, which is the fitted line versus on the same plot as the experimental date. So I'm going to write plot v underscore fit comma t and uh, you should be able to see the equation so here something does not make sense yes so what does not make sense is that we flipped the v and the t values right so um let me so what you could do is you could just go to the figure let's try to get rid of this line here um let's see So you can click on Edit Properties. Actually, it's taken, it's freezing on here. So I'm just going to clear my figure completely. And let's wait for it to clear. Okay, here we go. So the figure cleared. Um, I'm going to just recopy my original statements for the data here to get to the point where we were. And then I'm going to replot the fitted data. And this time I'll just be careful not to confuse the x and y. So x always goes first. So it'll be plot t versus v, v underscore fit. Um, and before doing so, let's just say hold on. And then plot t underscore v underscore fit. Um, yeah, plot. Here we go. So now you can see the equation for the straight line on the same figure. Um, if you want to find the equation for a quadratic polynomial, so we could re recreate this. So let's try and get the quadratic. So let's say a now. Quadratic will, again, I'm going to use the function polyfit to fit the original x and y data. So it's the same as this line up here, except instead of having one, I'm going to have two for the quadratic um, polynomial. So t, comma, v, comma, two. And um, this will generate the vector of coefficients for a quadratic equation. Um, we can now evaluate this equation over the t values. And this time I'm going to evaluate it differently. So this time I'm going to create an array. I'm going to call it t fit. And I'm going to have this array go from the minimum. So it will be from 800. So if you look here on the figure, it should go from 800 to 9. Let's say 920. So I'll have this go from 800 to 920 with increments of um, 20. So this line should create an array of points from 800 to 920 with increments of 20. So it's going to be 800, 820, 840, all the way to 920. And you can see it on the right-hand side here. Um, so tfit is just a new array which I created. And then I'm going to use polyval to evaluate the quadratic at these values. So I'm going to use a underscore quadratic comma t underscore fit and I'm going to call this so I'm going to call this v underscore fit underscore 
quadratic, right? So let's try and run this, and then let's plot the quadratic line as well. So I'm going to have plot, so hold on so that it doesn't erase my figure. And then I'm going to write plot t underscore v, or this time let's use the t underscore fit, comma v underscore fit underscore quadratic. And now you can see a second line here showing up for the quadratic fit. So you could use poly. Um, so you use polyfit to get your vector of coefficients, which best represents the experimental data you showed. And then you use polyval to basically plot your equation, which you just generated. Um, as a manipulation, it, it will need practice so that you get your head around it, but it's a very useful tool to know.